Yeah, this is the broadcasting center here at the IEC General Meeting 2016. Welcome, welcome back. Um, today uh, I'm going to talk about Industry 4.0 or Industry 4.0 or .o and so on and so on. We have several names for this very exciting topic. And uh, right now there was a session in the reinvention lab about this topic and uh, in particular about the question of how to collaborate between the various standardization organizations and platforms. And um, for this, we got an uh, expert. So welcome. Thank you. Alan McMillan. Um, you are US member of IEC Standardization Management Board and the co-convener of the IEC Systems Evaluation Group for Smart Manufacturing. So you are quite long in, into the business, yes. I've learned, for more than 45 years. So you're an excellent uh, interview partner uh -huh. for to bring some light into the discussion about what really Industry 4.0 is and uh, what did you discuss during the session in the reinvention lab. Okay. Uh, well, Industry 4.0 is the German uh, name for their national initiative to look at the future of manufacturing and automation and making it uh, more efficient. In parallel with Industry 4.0 in Germany, there are national initiatives in China, the US, France, and other countries. Um, each one of those national in initiatives is focused on how this new technology, uh, commonly all clustered under the word Internet of Things, but it's all new IT technology and memory and computer science can impact manufacturing for the benefit of the economy of the countries mm -hmm. and obviously they're looking for job creation and uh, growing GDP etc. Mm -hmm. Underpinning that work will be standards, new standards for the new technologies and new ways of integrating devices together. The challenge that we all face is that most of the developments uh, uh, and evolution of manufacturing and standards over the years have taken place in a very vertical oriented set of silos. Originally an automation control product was standalone in, in one silo. You could write the standard for its form and fit and function and it wouldn't have to communicate. Now all these silos, because the manufacturing unit wants to act cohesively as a choir, then all these individual experts in the TCs now need to learn how to sing in harmony. They're all experts in their own domain, but they have to sing and correlate and with, with, uh, and with each other. And so the idea of the IEC with systems committees is to provide that uh, choir master to be able to conduct the choir and to work on roadmaps to make sure that the TCs are working harmoniously, there's no duplication, okay. and equally important, there are no gaps. Mm. So, but I guess the whole discussion about the Industry 4.0 is uh, uh, focusing on, on data, uh, basically. Is that correct, or is it more on technology? No, it's more on technology and uh, communication systems. They've looked, we had a lot of uh, talk this morning about security and also yeah. about the 5G, the coming 5G mobile technology which will be used in factories or we want to use in factories. We also talked about the issue in radio spectrum is that there is no dedicated spectrum for our industry and the spectrum that is available doesn't quite meet the needs of, uh, of, of the, an industrial application. The, the, the question of data is something that I highlight because even if you can connect everybody together and you can get a, give everybody a smartphone and you can actually make people talk to each other. If the people have different languages, there's no communication. If I'm an expert in physics and you're an expert in neurosurgery, we might find some common ground. Mm -hmm. But in order for smart manufacturing or smart anything to work, you need a smart decision. Smart decisions require critical data on Oh, good quality data on critical aspects that may impact that decision. Mm -hmm. And this is the reason why you mentioned, I, uh, if I remember right, a common data dictionary in the morning. Yeah. That this is wh what was needed. Basically. The common data dictionary in IEC is a, is a repository 
where each of the standards committees can take the parameters of the product, for example, the, uh, the, the electrical specification, the, the power supply, the amps, the volts, and they can actually list all those properties in this database and effectively create a digital model of that, that physical artifact. Mm. Uh, to date, there's only um, there's a relatively few um, committees putting data in there. We we've just put a plea out both in ISO and IEC for more standards committees to start contributing data and working to get consistent data into oh, that okay. database. You just ma mentioned uh, safety and security issues. What what do you think? What is your your guess for the future? Will it be possible to create a safe and secure industrial internet? We have uh, safety standards and we've had in the, in the IEC, safety has been a preeminent uh, standard deliverable for the IEC since its inception. Uh, recently in TC65C, we've been working on security standards and there is a subtle difference between safety and security and there is collaborator collaboration talks going on between the TCs with, with safety and security in mind. Uh, safety and security is, uh, standards will be there for the long term. They will have to evolve. Uh, there's no such thing as 100% safe or 100% uh, secure. There's always a human error. There's always somebody or somebody will, even if you put padlocks and bolts, there's always a way to secure or, or break the safety or the security. And it's one of these things where as more and more people become inventive, then the standards will, standards will always be playing a little bit of catch up. Oh, we need to close that hole. Oh, we never thought about that. Yeah. So, but they are very important and they have to be implemented and they have to be implemented across the board. One device that doesn't implement the security or safety profile then becomes a big hole in the system and makes the whole system unsafe. Mm, okay, and coming back to the collaboration issue, what would you recommend just to improve the collaboration between all the platforms and standard makers? I think the, the, there's, a, there's a, an, an economic need for us to do that. Um, okay. The number of uh, experts and resources is limited. And the amount of, uh, um, the cost of doing all this work is, is extraordinary. And companies are not going to be able to send experts to multiple locations to effectively talk about the same things. One of the hindrances or object, uh, that for collaboration between the organizations and, and the SDOs today is that the, the method of developing standards varies greatly. The level of IT support tools varies gratefully, greatly. It's not easy to take a document from one, s one, one system to another system. So we have to make a big investment into as I said it today, we have to bring the digital economy into the standards business. Mm -hmm. We're here talking about how to standardize it, but we're not thinking about, well, it's hitting us too. We have to use it. Okay. We have to ourselves become uh, ready for the 21st century. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Alec. Okay. Yeah, for Thank being you. here. So, uh, yeah, we have learned that collaboration is a very important issue in, in the field of Industry 4.0 and uh, that we can uh, have an outlook and a very exciting future. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. IEC General Meeting 2016. Connecting Communities. Reinvent Standardization.